All right, now we're getting to the juicy stuff. Let's find out what you actually need to pay into your pension to retire comfortably. And if you stick around, we'll even find out how you could retire with a one million pound pension. First, let's start with a couple of basic concepts. The earlier you start paying into a pension, the better. And there's no doubt about it. And that's because of something called compounding returns. Now, don't be put off by the financial lingo. Compounding returns is your friend. Let's look at an example. So say you put a hundred pounds into your pension and that grows by 5% in a year. Now your 100 pounds is worth 105 pounds. Now imagine that grows by 5% a year again. Now it's worth 110 pounds 25. Notice how it grew by five pounds in the first year and five pounds 25 in the second. Every year, assuming it grows at the same rate, it will actually grow in an increasing amount in real money terms. So after 15 years, it will grow by 10 pounds a year. And after 30 years, it will grow by 20 pounds a year. If you simply paid a hundred pounds when you were 20 and it grew by 5% a year, it could be worth around 900 pounds by the time you're 65 at least before fees are taken into account. But either way, compounding returns can help grow your pension more and more over time. So the earlier you start, the longer it has to work its magic. Of course, pensions aren't guaranteed to grow by 5% each year or even at all. So you want to keep paying into your pension throughout your working life to make sure it's topped up as much as possible. And this brings us to the second concept. The more money you pay into your pension, the more it could be worth when you retire. Now, that probably sounds like a money 101 and I guess it kind of is, but did you know that if you start early enough, paying just an extra 10 pounds a month into your pension could increase its value by 10,000 pounds by the time you retire and paying an extra 50 pounds could increase its value by 50,000 pounds. So if you get a pay rise or come into a bit of money, consider increasing your pension contributions because even small increases could pay off in a big way when you really need it later in life. So start your pensions early and contribute as much as you can comfortably afford. Those are the basic principles of saving for a happy retirement. Now, let's get into the numbers. If you're like me, you might be imagining retirement as a time to kick back with your friends, travel a bit and spend more time with your family. But what does that kind of lifestyle actually cost? Well, according to research carried out by which it costs the average retired couple about £26,000 a year. And for single people, it's about £19,000 a year. Now, if you have a play with Pension B's pension calculator, like I have, you'll see that if you and your employer contribute £150 a month from the age of 20, your pension could help you retire at 67 and afford a comfortable lifestyle until you're 82. And if we add up the income from your state pension, which we'll cover in more detail later, later, it would last beyond your 100th birthday. So this is where it pays to start your pension early, because if you wait until you're 30, for example, you and your employer would have to contribute up to £200 a month for you to afford the same lifestyle. Obviously, if you're self-employed or not working, you'll need to increase your contributions to make up for the lack of workplace contributions. Now, let's talk about goals. Setting a retirement income goal will help you figure out how much you need to contribute each month to meet it. The pension calculator on Pension B's website can help you do this really easily. You just set your goal, put in the current value of your pension and what you're currently contributing. You'll know instantly whether you're on track or not and you can adjust the contribution slider to see the impact of raising or lowering your contributions. It's a great way to manage your money and expectations. <laughs> Lastly, I did say we'd talk about that one million pound pension. So let's see what it takes. First of all, a one million pound pension gives you a lot of money to play with in retirement. So much in fact that you could take out 70,000 a year for 20 years. That's a pretty decent retirement, but is it really doable for us regular people? Well, it's not easy, but using everything we've learned in this video, it is possible. Firstly, you need to start young. 
I've said this a hundred times, start young. And secondly, you need to contribute as much as you can afford. In this case, we're talking about personal contributions of 400 a month from the age of 20. Now that sounds like a lot, but it works out at about a quarter of the average salary for someone at that age. And it leaves about 1,200 to live off each month. If you live rent free with your parents or guardian, that might be doable. And even if you don't, it might not be too hard depending on the cost of rent where you're living. But one thing's for sure, you'll need to be really committed and careful with your money. And the good news is that if you start early, you won't have to increase your contributions as you get older, meaning you'll have more money left over each month as your salary increases. If you do start later, say when you're 30, you'll need to be putting away around 700 a month and it goes up quickly with age. Putting that much away each month is a big ask. So if you're really set on becoming a pension millionaire, start early. Now, before we wrap up this video, we quickly need to talk about allowances and tax. Yeah, I know, everyone's favorite topic, but stay with me. So each year you can receive up to this much in pension contributions without being taxed. And the government will top up any contributions you make to the equivalent of your annual earnings. Okay, let's recap. One, the earlier you start paying into the pension, the better thanks to compounding returns. Two, the more money you pay into your pension, the better. Even if it's just an extra 10 pounds a month, it can make a big difference to your retirement income. Three, set a retirement income goal and figure out what you need to save using Pension B's pension calculator. Four, if you're putting a lot of money into your pension, be wary of crossing the pension contributions limit, which could affect your income tax.